So when we praise his holy name, we are praising his uncommon name, his unusual name, his pure name. And the scripture, whenever it uses the word name, it's not intended to just be limited to the letters in the name, but the name, the word for name, speaks of the character of the person whose name is being called. He's holy, he's pure, he's strong, he's kind, he's loving. He is one who is able to give rest to tired people, to worn out people, to exhausted people. Matthew eleven twenty eight, Jesus will say, come to me, come to me, all who are weary heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He didn't say come to the Baptists. He didn't say come to the Pentecostals. He didn't say go find a Catholic. He didn't say go find an American or a Jewish person. He said come to me. Don't mix up denominations with Jesus. You keep them separate. One is going to be contaminated with humanity. The other is pure and strong and the God of all gods and the Lord of all lords. The church can wear you out. The church can disappoint you. The church can lie to you. The church can be mean to you. The church can abandon you. Do I need to go on with more possibilities? But Jesus... Jesus never fails. You, 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 get, you push back the clutter and the disappointment and the glitz and the noise and so forth of the church. And you get to Jesus. And as the old gospel song would say, there's no disappointment in Jesus. He's all that he promised to be. We don't make a lot about uh, come be a part of Alamo City because we'll make you a better person. We know better than that. <laughs> or come listen to this preacher or go to this particular because you can find what you're looking for in that. No, no. In fact, if a Christian preacher or a Christian teacher is worth their calling, is worth their salt and worthy of their calling, then what you will leave after you leave a time with them is not how smart they were, not how anointed they were, not how full of the Spirit they were. You'll just leave walking away going, boy, it felt like Jesus was in the house. It felt like the person he was talking about or she was referencing was in the room. There was somebody else in the room. And that's our prayer. 